In the opening scene, we see a middle-aged woman in a dimly lit parking lot. She appears to be scared and frantically looks around the place. After a while, she gets a text on her phone, which makes her even more nervous. She then hides her car keys inside one of the rear tires before fleeing the scene. Following this, we are introduced to our protagonist, Kenny, a 19-year-old boy who lives a mundane life. He lives with his mother and younger sister and works at a restaurant as a waiter. Kenny appears to be a kind-hearted and gentle boy who likes helping people. At his workplace, he is loved by everyone. Even the customers are impressed by his selflessness and kind nature. In one instance, Kenny returns a little girl's toy and greets her goodbye. The latter smiles back and happily leaves. Wait, what? One day, Kenny returns home to find his laptop missing. On looking around, he discovers that his sister has been using it. Enraged, he quickly takes it away from her and scolds her. It's almost as if he is hiding something illicit in that laptop. After a while, Kenny returns to his room and tries to surf the internet. However, to his dismay, he learns that his laptop has caught a virus. He desperately tries to remove it, but to no avail. When nothing else works, Kenny downloads an anti-malware software from an illegal site. As soon as he installs it, the virus is deleted from his laptop. But unbeknownst to him, the webcam also mysteriously turns on, indicating that someone is watching him. Later that night, Kenny locks his room and starts pleasuring himself. He scrolls through numerous websites for good content, but while doing so, he suddenly receives an email from an unknown person. The message reads, We saw what you did. For you see, Kenny was Googling Overwatch. There is also a video attached in the email, and when Kenny opens it, he is shocked to the core. The unknown person has apparently hacked his laptop and recorded him pleasuring himself. Before Kenny can even understand what's happening, another email pops up. This one blackmails him to send his mobile number, or else his video will be leaked online. Scared, Kenny has no choice but to oblige. After a while, he receives a text on his phone, which asks him to always keep his location services on and to keep his phone charged. The sender also mentions that Kenny will be activated when the time comes. Desperate, our boy tries to offer the person money, but the latter only replies with, tell no one. For the next few days, Kenny doesn't receive any messages, yet he feels dejected. At home, he barely talks to his family and often locks himself in his room, probably to Google Overwatch again. Things aren't better at his workplace either. The once charming and energetic Kenny is now a shadow of himself. He is always silent and absent-minded, which prompts the manager to often scold him. A week later, Kenny's worst fears come true as the unknown person finally messages him. He sends a location, asking Kenny to reach there before 12 p.m. Failing to do so will result in the leak of his video. Terrified, Kenny immediately takes a sick leave and rushes to the said location on his bicycle. On reaching there, he finds no one, so he lets the sender know that he has arrived. In response, the latter asks him, to wait. Then, a few minutes later, a guy arrives on a scooter. Without saying anything, he hands Kenny a package and clicks a photo of him. As the guy sends the picture to someone, Kenny realizes that he too is being forced to run errands. Oh, you Google Overwatch too? Yeah. This means that the hacker is blackmailing numerous people right now. After the guy departs, Kenny receives another location on his phone, along with a room number. The hacker then asks him to deliver the package there. Kenny is a bit scared about this, but he has no choice but to comply. Along the way, he peeks into the package and discovers that it is a cake. In the next scene, Kenny reaches the said room and knocks on the door, but no one opens. He then mentions that he has brought a package, but still the same outcome. Just then, the hacker suggests that he use a certain Mindy's name. As soon as Kenny does so, a man named Hector nervously opens the door. It turns out that he is also being blackmailed by the hacker. Hector angrily asks what's going on, to which Kenny reveals that he has been sent here by an unknown person. When Hector grabs his phone and reads through the messages, he learns that the boy has also been victimized. Their conversation is suddenly interrupted when the hacker texts Hector. He says that the two will now have to team up and deliver the package to a specified location. There is a car in the parking lot which they can use for this mission. It is then revealed that this is the same car which the woman had left in the opening scene. Later, as Kenny and Hector drive to the specified location, they ask each other about their misdeeds. Kenny says that he he was watching some videos and pleasuring himself when the hacker 
and recorded him. Now, they are threatening to release the video to the internet if he doesn't comply. After this, Hector reveals that he is a married man with a daughter. He loves his family a lot, and there is no problem with his marriage. However, one night when he was drunk, he ordered an escort online. Her name was Mindy. As Hector was chatting with her, he sent his illicit images in the heat of the moment. This is when the hacker recorded their messages and started blackmailing him. Hector fears that if his wife knows about this, she will divorce him and take custody of his daughter. Hearing all this, Kenny freaks out and begins crying, but Hector assures him that everything will be alright. He is confident that after they finish their errands, they will be let free. After a while, they arrive at the specified location. The hacker then texts them, mentioning that there are some objects inside the cake, which they will have to retrieve. On checking, the duo finds a pair of sunglasses, a cap, and a gun. This scares the two, and they wonder why they need a gun. Just then, the hacker sends them another message. Dress up like the Overwatch characters. <laughs> He asks who would like to be the driver, and who the robber. Hector and Kenny just stare at each other in disbelief, and soon they realize that they are outside a bank. Panic sets in and they contemplate abandoning the mission, but then it dawns on Hector that his family is on the line, so he confidently says that he is going to be the driver. Kenny is still not ready to proceed with the mission, but after Hector explains about the consequences if his video is released, he reluctantly agrees. Kenny then puts on the sunglasses and cap, grabs the gun, and heads inside the bank. He immediately points his gun at the cashier and demands that she hand over all the money she has. While doing so, Kenny becomes so scared that he pees in his pants, but fortunately none of the bank employees resist, and they give up all their money without any problem. After this, Kenny rushes out of the bank and gets inside the car. Hector then speeds the vehicle away, concluding their mission on a successful note. Shortly after, they receive a text from the hacker saying they have one final task. He has sent a location where they should proceed now. The duo arrives there and finds that it is an isolated place with a forest in the distance. Hector then receives another text in which he is instructed to destroy the car. As for Kenny, he is asked to take the money bag and head inside the forest. The hacker promises that this is their last mission and after this, they will be free. Following this, the duo bids each other goodbye and sets off in their respective directions. When Kenny arrives in the forest, he sees a man waiting for him. There is a large parcel nearby as well. Seeing this, Kenny believes that the man is the same hacker who has been blackmailing him, but before he can confront him, the man discloses that he has been ordered to open the package and turn on the device. The device is actually a drone. With this, Kenny realizes that the man is another victim. As the two stare at each other in fear and disbelief, the man asks, are you ready? Kenny doesn't understand what's going on, so the man explains that they will have to fight the winner will be rewarded with the cash. Hearing this, Kenny becomes nervous, and he asks who will determine the winner. At the same time, the hacker texts him, fight to death. This means that the last man standing will be declared the winner. Terrified, Kenny brings out his gun and points it at the man. When he can't do it, he points it at himself. However, when he pulls the trigger, he realizes that the gun was always empty. Taking advantage of this distraction, the man lunges at Kenny, and the fight officially begins. On the other hand, as Hector reaches home, he receives a troll face picture from the hacker, and as he enters his wife's room, he finds her crying. It turns out that despite finishing all of the tasks, the hacker still disclosed his affair to his wife. Hector is shattered by the revelation, and he has no words to say. Elsewhere, we are shown the same woman from the first scene. Just like Hector, she also receives a troll face on her phone, indicating that her secret has been leaked. When the woman nervously turns on her computer, she discovers that her racist outburst has been spread across the news, dooming her. The scooter guy's fate is also the same. Whatever scandal he was hiding has been disclosed, and his family is swarming him for answers. Finally, we are taken back to Kenny, who appears to have won the fight. He is bloodied and battered, but at least he has the money with him. Unfortunately, as he staggers his way back home, he receives the troll face on his phone. Then, 
His mom calls him. On picking up, she sobbingly asks if he was watching illegal child videos. This shockingly reveals that Kenny is a pedophile who is pleasuring himself to illicit content. As his mom continues crying on the phone, he doesn't say a word and simply hangs up. In the final scene, as Radiohead's exit music blares on, <laughs> why are we mentioning that? Some police officers arrive and arrest Kenny. He doesn't resist, nor does he speak. I think I speak for all of us when I say, fuck you, Kenny. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.